Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So the problem that we are going to discuss today is from your SD sheet and we were discussing our greedy approach section. So we have another question from that. Before that, I'll just quickly check if I am live. Wait. Yes, we are. Cool. Okay. So let me show you the problem statement. So page falls in LRU. So the problem is easy, but first for that you need to understand something in this question. So if you have, you are already aware of what page falls are good for you. If not, I'll tell you. So understand it in this way that you are given an array of integers uh, of pages, for example. What you have to do here is whenever a new page is referred, you, you are given certain this count you are given, which tells you that at any point in time, maximum these many pages are allowed Four num four total four sections of pages you can add. Okay, fine. So whenever a new page is referred, consider each integer as a new page and it is not present in memory. The page fault occurs and operating system replaces one of the existing pages with a newly needed page. What you have to do is given the sequence of pages, which you can see in this array, you and the memory capacity C find the number of page faults using least recently used algorithm LRU cache basically. So let me just take this example and let then I'll explain it to you 50132. For example, you're given this. zero these are the pages okay you can refer you don't have to take them as the count of the pages these are the pages which are referred by some numbers as their unique addresses you can say okay five zero one three two what was there four one zero five i'll tell you four one zero five okay so capacity that is given to you, you can understand it in this way that your memory, your CPU can only hold at max four number of four pages at any time. And these are some unique pages. The page, this page is known by five. This page is known by zero. So these are like their namings. Okay. For example. Okay. So what you have to tell that how, what, what is the count of page fault that occurs? So page fault refers this term for that you need to have a little understanding how page fault works in operating system but to simplify it understand it in this way that if a certain page that i'm trying to enter in this memory if it is not present already then page fault occurs and if it is already present then there is no page fault okay and simultaneously when your question says that you have to solve you have to calculate the number of page faults occurred using LRU algorithm, that means since you can at max store five, five different pages at any point in time, means five pages. So for example, I already have 5013, correct? By least recently used means when I try to, okay, why, let me do, let me go one by one. So let's start adding these pages into our memory. Okay, for example, this is my CPU. I first enter five, fine, I entered it. So I, when I, before I enter, I ask, is five already present? It is not. So one page fault has already occurred. Okay. Then you enter the other one. Zero. Does zero already exist? No. So, and also you're keeping a track that you are not exceeding the capacity that is four. So far we, we are within the capacity. Next one is one. I ask is, and the page fault has already become two because five and zero were not already present. I am just inserting first the pages. Then I'm inserting one before that I see one is not present. So page fault has occurred. Correct. Okay. Next one is three. I see three is not there. Another page fault has occurred. Fine. Now I'm at two. I see two is not there. I will add it and one more page fault will occur. But once you add it, you can see that you have to take a, such a data structure for which does not have a foundation on its size, right? So this is one thing think of what kind of data structure you can use okay now once i add this page i see that i have exceeded the capacity you can see capacity has is now greater than four so i have to definitely get rid of one page 
what that page would be that will be determined by the algorithm that we are using that is least recently used so what does this mean is i'm trying to you know giving give you some logic behind this lru also so in real life in real world example for example when you're opening tabs in your phone so the one the first app you opened and second app you open and third app for example that's the maximum number of tabs your phone can hold now you have to remove one by one right so the one that you use although it happens in the reverse manner the latest one you use you remove that first so just think it think of it in the opposite way the app app one which you use in the beginning if you're trying to remove it so that is the one which is least recently used only then you can add a new one okay so a little bit about it don't worry if you don't don't need to get into its depth for this question at least okay coming back so tell me while i was inserting these pages which was the page which was least which is least recently used that means it was added long back and that is your page with address 5 this is the page which has not been touched for a very long time this is the most recently used and this is the least recently used okay 2 is the most recently used and 5 is the least recently used and in order to get it within the capacity i will remove this one so i will get rid of the one that is present in the beginning of this data structure which is 5 okay moving ahead now what i want to insert is 4 so i ask do you have 4 already with you it says no so obviously page fault will occur right so i will increment the count of page fault which becomes 6 now fine and then i will be adding 4 here and once i add 4 i again see it is exceeding the size of the it is exceeding the capacity so again now since this page does not exist so the least recently used one will be this so i will remove this one now got it okay next one is one you ask your data structure whichever you are using does one exist yes one exists so page fault will not occur this is for sure but i insert one and i have to get rid of the one that was previously there so here by chance i have one as present here i'm going to get rid of it but what you have to do is whenever you are inserting the page which is already existing you have to get rid of that page only no matter if it's here or here right here by chance you have it as least recent use but the point is if you have the same page you have to get rid of it fine wherever it is present in your data structure next one is zero zero does not exist i will insert it increment the count of my page fault which will become seven zero has been added now get rid of the least recently used one okay this was the this is the least recently used now you are at the last page you check is five present no so page fault will definitely increase but you simultaneously you will get rid of this two which is the least recently used page to stay in the capacity so that is your final answer okay so coming on to the very simple thing you can you might think of a hash map you, you which you can use definitely but in that you will have to keep an extra track of which element was least recently used which page was least recently used correct so the better one would be to take a queue data structure okay because we know our least recently used will always reside in the beginning front of my queue so this is a better better one better selection to solve this problem you will know that whenever you take <clears throat> whenever you want to remove the page which was least recently used it will always be present in the beginning of your queue and queue dot remove will remove this page in oven of time complexity so for obvious reasons this is going to be your better approach okay so now if you have any doubts <clears throat> you can ask me in the chat otherwise we'll move to the code now code is going to be really simple nothing more to explain here okay so you i'll just check if you guys have any doubts So if this is clear let's move to the code part okay fine <clears throat> so
so what are you going to do i'll just write a pseudo code for example you have this array you are given this array i am going to iterate over this array starting from your first one okay then this up till n i plus plus fine i plus plus what is going you are you have declared your queue next thing would be next thing would be you are checking the, first of all you have to check some capacity which is already given to you right one by one when you are inserting take some count int count equal to 0 which will be having the count of the total page faults that have occurred okay so once you are inserting as you are inserting the element your page fault is going to increase if that element does is not existing already so just simple thing if your queue does not contain you can use hash map you whatsoever you want okay this arr of i then obviously your count will increase first thing and you are inserting it into your queue so q dot add this arr of i this is one thing that you are going to do fine this is what you have done fine you will also check if the if your q dot size exceeds your capacity okay size exceeds your capacity which whatever it is then you have to remove also okay this thing is handled and the other case will be your else case which is if for example the element the page that you are adding is already existing in your queue so one thing count will not increment because it's not a page fault the only thing that you will do is you will remove that already first of all let's add it q dot add that arr of i because I want it to get into the queue as at the rear position and also remove where it was earlier. So this remove part will be before. Queue. So in the else part, else queue dot remove this arr of i and then you add this arr of i the new that's all about this question fine so i'll just show you the code you can have a look exactly what i've shown you in the pseudo code so we have taken the standard way that of defining q in this gfg compiler we are taking it of type link list and simple thing then whatever we discussed right so this was all about this problem if you have any doubts you can let me know else we are done with it okay so if you have no doubts, I'll just wrap it up and then finally return count here. Okay. Fine then everyone. I hope this is clear to you. Then see you all in the next lecture. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.